afternoon and oh my god, what are we jealous of your weather over here? I mean, if we fly home tonight, it's going to be zero or in your case, minus four. So my name is Martin, I'm from the Netherlands, Justin from the UK. We both love pagey duty and want to tell you more about it. So Justin, please, next slide. So if you ever wonder what does pagey duty do? Well, in all honesty, we make money on problems. So who doesn't have problems? I'm not talking about private problems, but tech problems. So here we show our operations cloud. Currently a million users so far already. So for us, it's around data. Data is the new oil. So data flowing out of your infrastructure from 700 different applications. Currently, they flow into our SaaS platform. And whenever there's a problem, it gets into what we call event management. The phone rings. Ta-da, there the name paging comes from. And whenever the phone rings and somebody's on call, he's informed about a problem, we use AI and machine learning to really look at the data like, this has happened before. Have we seen this like a couple of weeks ago? Is this really a priority problem or, or not? And if it's like really a problem, then we have a component called mobilization that we can automatically create Slack channels, Zoom channels to bring in the cavalry as a way to help out fix the problem as soon as possible. So our key KPI has always been meantime to repair. Solve your problem as soon as possible. And now we've got something new. We acquired another company called Rundeck. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you don't. But this is a orchestration automation platform now being completely embedded in the platform. So whenever there's a problem, we use automation to run scripts in any scripting language you can imagine with all the guardrails. And we use those scripts to identify like is this maybe the issue or is that it? So we call it automated diagnostics. And the more sexier part is the resolution as well. We all heard about self-healing IT, and I can tell you, we have it. So whenever there's a problem that indicates like cache memory being full, we can automatically resolve it by clearing the cache, spin up more servers, create more memory. Multiple things you can do there. Next year. So every problem has a life cycle. And again, data here on the, right, on the left, functionality to de deplicate, functionality with machine learning to reduce the noise, as we call it. So do not give you 20 of the same alerts. It's bullshit. So we use AI for that. And there it comes in a, compo a process called event orchestration, where the event orchestration is either a choice. Do we want a human to respond on the problem and to the investigation, or do you want to have a machine response? And this makes sense. I mean, if you wake up in the middle of the night, there's a problem, you get a phone call, you don't want to open up your laptop to see further analysis. No, you want to see it on your screen. And that maybe think, wah, not a real problem, let's move on. So it's a choice, how do you want to implement it? But all in all, to reduce the meantime to repair. So over to you, uh, Justin. So what I want to do is just give you a quick demo of PagerDuty, um, in particular, uh, automated diagnostics, to show you how when you get up at 3 a.m. in the morning, um, we can wrap a whole lot of automation around that to make things a bit easier. So I'm going to start with a trigger. Now this trigger could have come from your, uh, your observ uh, observability tool like Datadog or from, um, from the guys like Elastic, for example. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to trigger an event to our, our platform and we're going to see what happens. And nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the, care, the curse of the live demo. So actually, you can hear my, uh, my phone uh, calling me now at this point. Now, this would ordinarily start some kind of sequence, an escalation policy that if I had not responded to it in five minutes or ten minutes, then it would go to Martin and then it would go to our boss, for example. Um, but of course, I'm going to ignore it in this case. I'm going to actually just take a quick look at the, uh, at the PagerDuty app itself. So, of course pull me in here and you can see that error that I just created. So, hey, real time, um, apart from losing connectivity. So uh, anyway, I can do all of the things that you'd expect me to be able to do within an incident. I can add a responder, I can add different teams, I can reassign it, I can triage, I can change the urgency. Okay. Um, but actually what I can do now also is if I take a look at my notes, you should see a whole load of additional enhancement information um, when, I, when this actually incident's been created. So actually, I normally have a few teams of experts, so a Kubernetes team, 
uh, the platform engineering team usually, or maybe the infrastructure team. What we've, able to, what we've been able to do is wrap up the things that they normally do to troubleshoot um, and display these automatically for me as a responder to be able to do something about. So I can see actually I've got some problems there in crash loop back off, um, but no problems in my uh, database logs, for example. Um, and actually the endpoints that I've checked around uh, uh, Stripe or Cloudflare are all working just fine. I could even check my, my cloud provider to make sure that when the problem occurs, that I, uh, that I actually have much more information than just the, the event that comes through with me. Now my, um, my team, the experts, have actually also wrapped up some additional uh, automation skills that I can actually run. And we call these automation actions. So quite often we talk about remediation, um, but sometimes a remediation is simply rolling back a pipeline or um, going back to the next or the last known good version of a, 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 a of a product, or maybe just um, maybe adding some extra resource in some shape or form. So I can run from here. I can run that action. Now, okay, this is kind of cool, right? You know, this helps me. This means that I'm going to be able to fix things quicker. Um, but also this is completely shared across either running this on the mobile app, running it in the PagerDuty app, running it in Teams, or running it in Slack, for example. So you can run this across chat ops also. Um, and as you can see now, I'm just, uh, uh, just fixing the job. I've not had to leave the app. I can work where I choose to work from. So irrespective of whether I'm doing this in the app or I'm, uh, or I'm working somewhere else like, for example, or I'm working somewhere else like Slack, for example, where I can see all of that same set of detailed information. Um, I'll be working from there as well. Just wanted to give you a very quick high-level overview of, uh, of how this works and how we're working with customers to solve these, uh, solve these problems. It's clear we're wrapping up here. If you want to participate in the raffle, as it works, you guys know that. Take your phone, take a picture. You might be lucky. Anyways. Thanks for your attention. Remember us, Pager Duty.